on the surface it might seem like Ultimates in Honkai Star Rail are just fine. They have a veil of complexity because they achieve different results. However, the way you acquire your ultimate is always the same. It doesn't matter if you rolled use damage or heals, it is always a cycle of charge up to 100%, use, go back to zero. Argenti is a nice break from the monotony, having an ultimate which has two levels of charge, however it relies on the same base principle. But how would we even go about making an ultimate that does not use en the energy system or uses it in a different way? Well, there are a lot more ways than you could imagine. We already have characters that can go into an enhanced state like Blade or Jing Liu, however they are both skill related and only last a certain amount of turns. What if we had a character that has an uncapped amount of energy they can amass, and once they pass the minimum threshold they can go into an enhanced state, while in this state their stats would be considerably increased, however each time they take a turn a set amount of energy would be taken away from them until it reaches zero and then the character will be forced out of their enhanced state. It would be a fine balancing act where players would have to decide whether it is worth it to use the energy now and have a buff lasting 3 turns or do they keep gaining energy, risking losing cycles to gain a longer lasting buff that would surely finish the job. Additionally, characters like Ting Yun or Hua Hua will become more complex because you would have to choose between using your ult to prolong the buff or saving it so that you can pass the, pass the threshold quicker for the next one. Realistically speaking, there is only so much that can be done with HSR's energy system, and we are far away from reaching its fullest potential. However, it would still be a nice change of pace if you get a character that does not rely on energy in any sort of way, shape or form. What if a character had to fulfill certain requirements to use their ultimate? For example, need to take damage 3 times, attack at least 3 different enemies or an elite, and have some sort of a buff from a different character. Only then they will be able to use their ultimate. And to not make it too overpowered, you'd have to have a cooldown of, say, two turns, for example. That could be a fun side grade and would create unique synergies between characters. This one is probably the most crazy and realistically work as a part of a kit of a single character. However, it is still a unique way to use the energy system, and the idea can be improved, so I still want to throw it out there, so. Me out. What if we had a character that does not have an ultimate? Well, not in the usual way. The way it would work is that the character would be able to use their ultimate at any point. When this happens, the character would start charging up. While that character is charging up, all ultimates that are used would get absorbed by that character, regardless of the ultimate's effect. Then when the character starts their turn, they would combine all of the ultimates and amplify them based on how many ults they have absorbed. So if that character would have absorbed Natasha's ult, Asta's ult and Herta's ult, when that character takes action, they would heal their team, give them a speed boost and deal a massive amount of ice damage to all enemies. Or if they absorbed Bronya's and Zila's ult, they will not only buff their whole team, but also deal a large amount of quantum damage to a single target. The possibilities are insane and it would give less utilized characters a new purpose. For example, while Arlan is subpar at best, if a different character could take his ult, amplify the damage and heal one of your allies with it, it would actually give a reason to build him, while also devaluing Ting Yun, because while her damage buff is good, most people use her ult to give energy. But if your main damage dealer does not use energy, then only the damage buff remains, which makes her underperform for probably the first time in the game's life cycle. I don't make this video to hate on Honkai Star Rail or its mechanics. I think the game is great and I see a lot of potential in the game's systems, which is why I am making this video, because I want to see potential realized. I hope you enjoy the different type of content and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and goodbye.